well, let's go since we kind of transitioned into uh, comedy and and the uh, the show business in which we both uh, which we both uh, participate in. We'll go to a little bit of Music Monday stuff people were sending me. So Ken sent me this. Uh, it might be the case the way we play live music will change. So Mogwai are one of the first bands to cancel a major tour in 2021. Now, so let's reel this in a little bit. They're canceling shows in February, which I think it's right. fair to say that big shows will not be back come February. I agreed. When do you think? So I think, well, I'll, I'll just say what I think first, and then I'll turn it over to you. I, I think that live performance a fair amount of live performance will be back in 2021 i would guess by the summer or fall but i think everything 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 like the big arena stuff we might be looking at 2022 potentially also summer fall of 2021 but i think that like club stuff you know rock clubby stuff 500 and under i think that will be back summer fall of 2021 what do you think? I mean, that's what they're saying. That's they're saying that's the soonest. I mean, you know, I've been really resistant. I don't want to do live comedy Zoom shows like that. Just seems, you don't do Zoom shows? I don't. I'm sorry. It's better than nothing. I know. I've been turning down all these Zoom shows and now people don't ask me anymore. So I'm like, oh, I've well, cut I'm, all I'm going to I'm going to ask you and you're going to have to turn me down. I'm going to um, ask you to do a Zoom show. It just seems so sad. I don't know. Why? Is it fun? Is it funny? Or is All it right. just like, I'm talking to myself? <laughs> like, just no, because really people can laugh. You can see yeah. people and they can laugh. I, I mean, I've had some better experiences than others, just like real yeah. stand-up. Yeah. Um, is it the same as being there physically? Absolutely not. No. But is it better than nothing? Yeah. I would say it's infinitely better than nothing. I, I, you know, I, and I've been doing Zoom shows since the pandemic has happened. I actually have a college Zoom show tomorrow, wow. um, which that'll be my first college this year. It's so, like a, a college gig on yeah, Zoom. Yeah, a college wow. gig on Zoom. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing Central Michigan University, but it's just their, it's just their <laughs> students. Like I'm not, I'm not traveling there. Right, um, you know, which, hey, I miss touring so much, but I don't miss the physical traveling part that I don't miss. I mean, it's hard. It's hard on your psyche and your body and everything. Totally. So yeah, that definitely. I mean, I will say this. I, I really resisted. I was like, no, this is bananas. You know, in the beginning, I'm not into it. I don't like, I don't want to do live shows, but I've started to watch shows and I've started to see what people are doing. And I definitely think I would rather than do like a comedy show, I'm, I'm looking at like doing like a, maybe a one person show, like a monologue kind of thing. I've done that in the past. Um, I had a one woman show I toured for five years. So mm -hmm. I kind of feel like the, 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 the technology lends itself to that kind of thing more so than the you know comedy sets in my mind, in my experience from what I've watched. It definitely feels like that makes more sense um so i've been riffing on some ideas I, i'm playing with some stuff and i think you know part of me is like dude it's online just like do a throw but throw a whole bunch of shit against the wall and see what sticks like you, it's like almost like free workshopping like you it have really is to like workshop a ton of stuff with a live audience and see what what you like what they like what works um, so I'm kind of thinking of it now as like, because I do, I agree with you. I don't think we're going to be back in any sort of venues until late 2021. That's I think what that I think would too. Be the soonest. And so, that's a lot of ifs. That's like, you know, whatever this vaccine, whatever like mutation, this. Well, virus, whatever it is and whatever. whenever it is. Yeah. I mean, we don't know exactly and when does it it's work, gonna be. And are people going to take it? And, you know, there's still all of. And are we, you know, going to be living under a dictatorship at that point where comedy is outlawed? Who knows? Right. No kidding. Dissent but is outlawed. <laughs> well, I, I'll say this too about the Zoom thing. And then we'll, you're kind of, there's things that you can do to adapt to a medium mm -hmm. just like anywhere else. I mean, you know, if you're at a comedy show and it's a 300 capacity venue and there's five people there. 
you adapt to that. You have to kind of acknowledge that and adapt to it and, and kind of bring them in and still make it a show. If you're playing a rough bar gig, you have to adapt to that. If you play a show where they refuse to turn off the football game, been there, you have to adapt to that. So, so <laughs> it's kind of like, it's just another, you know, media like format issue where it's like, there's ways you can adapt to it. There's ways you can utilize the format and, you know, you just kind of learn to make the most of it, I think. And, and it's, you know, it's going to be, I, I did get to do live, live com the real thing, um, a little while ago at a baseball stadium. Really? There's a Where? comedy. It's in uh, Lake Elsinore, California. It's all outdoors. They seat people 12 feet apart. Everyone's masked up. And the mic's sanitized. In, but there's only three comics. The mic's sanitized in between each comic. And uh, they do a show at a baseball stadium. So it's like, you know, it's like there were about 10 or so people there scattered about through a baseball stadium. With 10 and audience it's, members? Well, I don't remember the exact number, but, it, but there was like a hand because they, they had to limit it. They couldn't have a ton of people like so. It's a, and, big, like, it's a huge stadium. Yeah. Yes. But they they had like a stage set up in like the outdoor. You know how like the the stands like there's some like there's like vendors. It, there was basically a stage set up uh, in like an outdoor baseball stadium so that like like they weren't really projecting it or anything like that. So the people had to sit, you know, but the people were spread out all throughout that stand. So and nobody how was, was close. This? How was the experience for you as a performer? Eight months ago, it would have been a hell gig that I never would have accepted in a million years. But right now, it was, I mean, there were almost tears of joy after my set. Yeah. Just yeah. to be able to see other people. Wow. And and the laughs were muffled. And said because people had freaking masks on. They, they were scattered about. They were, you know, but people were really enjoying the fact that they were just out of their house feeling a little bit of normalcy and the comics, we were having an amazing freaking time. And I mean, it's I like, have to say when we go back to being on a stage, like people are going to be, it's going to, I feel like it, you're going to have the best sets of your life because people yeah. are just going to be like so happy. You're yeah. never going to take it for granted again. Like so happy to be there. You're going to be so happy to be there to have an open dialogue. I mean, I think that's what is so difficult and crazy about this time. It's like, as if like our ability to, first of all, our ability to reach people, obviously if you're controversial can be like curtailed by these outside forces, these corporate entities, these organizations who host these things. So it's like, you know, what, can be said is already limited, but your ability to like affect change and interact with people and have those dialogues, because I feel like when I'm doing stand up, that's what I'm doing. I'm like telling you what I think about shit and like mm -hmm. why I'm so passionate about certain things and what, you know, those things are. And so it's like that kind of give and take and exchange is like out the window. Even, I mean, I guess on some level you can have that with, with, you know, Zoom, but there's nothing like a real interpersonal interaction that I think affects people and gives people a sense of like, oh, this is a different perspective. And I feel like our inability to do that is like really mucking up the ability to like have these intense dialogues and this like really kind of earth changing interactions or just fucking funny interactions that like yeah. make people feel good and feel joyful or, you know, it's like, it's really hard not to be participating in that. I think for me, I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, it hurts. I just feel like a part of me is just missing right now. And, yeah. uh, you know, again, even though I will say the zoom shows are better than nothing, they are not the same thing. And it's like, it's just a piece of me is just on hold right now. And it hurts. It's like, it's like a very bad breakup, but it's like, you're not broken up. It's almost like, like, uh, I don't know, like, like, like this is the forties and your, your lover went off to war or something and you don't know when they're coming back and you don't even get any letters. You're just guessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe you don't yeah. relate to that. I, I don't know. I mean, I just, I feel like it's this liminal, we're in this liminal space where we're just like, it's almost like unprecedented. This generation has never experienced anything like this. And we don't know what to expect or when it's coming or what it's gonna look like. And, you know, 
it's just a really intense time. I'm sure there's like a ton of drug use and mental breakdowns happening right now. I can't even imagine. No, oh, it's um, happening. I mean, yeah. it's, it's happening. <laughs> yeah, it is happening. It's it happening, is happening all over. <laughs> I don't know when the last time I slept through the night was. Like I have, I get, I get insomnia. That's that's. Oh mine. really? Oh see, oh, I, yeah. I yeah. sleep okay. Do you? What about? I mean, aren't there any indicas that can help you with that? Uh, man, I tried it all. I've tried really? It all. I definitely right. am. Uh, I'm on the. You know, I just kind of like have succumbed to this like. I'm at this weird Zen place where I'm like five hours of solid sleep is like amazing. If that happens, like if I get five hours of sleep, um, that's I, a good, that's a good night. See, if I get a six spot, I'm good. And that's all I need. And I don't really, I, I find sleep. Uh, I, I hate saying this because it sounds kind of, uh, it kind of like, but, but I, I don't like sleep. Like, like I don't I, I do it because people come yeah, on. I am. I know. I feel bad. <laughs> I, am, I hate being one of those people. I, I, but I am one of those people where it's like, and I know that, you know, the Hollywood type where it's like sleep bores me. It's like, what are you talking? Does drinking water bore you too? Does breathing yeah. air bore you? Yeah. No. So like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so a fan not of trying to be that guy. But I, but it is true for me. I don't care for it that I do it because I have to. But I don't. Like I'm glad when it's over. I like being awake. No, not I'm. Not, <laughs> I am not of that mindset. I'm like, please give me eight to nine hours of sleep and let me. I, I just like I can oh, spend so entire, much time. It's what? What? It's too much. It's time. a lot of time. I have what? to be up scrolling Twitter and finding out how what horrifying thing is happening in the world today. Now what you're is, speaking my what language. Are you doing? Like, forget the comfort and safety of a warm soft bed i need a little <laughs> danger that's what i need <laughs> you're living on the edge over there Ron. <laughs> living on the edge no and my wife's the total opposite she like tallies her hours and it's like i mean sometimes we even have disagreements about it like, like she'll you know she's like well if i don't go to bed now i'm not gonna get enough because i have to wake up at this time and, and i remember one time i just looked at her and i was just like hey baby you know a sentence that's never been said ever in the history of the world? Hey, I moved out to Los Angeles so I could get plenty of sleep. No one's oh ever God. said that. I have a dream. I'm moving out to LA so I can get, and I'm going to get plenty of rest. I'm gonna, no because one's you, ever said that, Jennifer. Because Nobody. you have to be awake right now to deal with the, like, what, what is there to be awake for right now? Like, well, that's what? fair. Is there had, to be awake for? Right we had now. this conversation before the pandemic. I made that point before the pit, but but it's still. I think it still holds true. There's still You're a like, lot to be awake better for. Better go right hustle now. all your Zoom <laughs> comedy shows. Get I am I am gonna people. get you to agree to a Zoom show. I'm just I'm, gonna be a curmudgeon about it the whole I'm, time. That's fine. You can do whatever you want for your set, but I'm I'm going to I am going to keep nagging you. I'm gonna have more Zoom shows just so I can. Just try so to you book you for one. I've seen I've I've jumped on a few Zoom comedy shows lately just because I was like, why am I being such a dick? Like, let me see what's going on. And then of course I watched them and I was like, oh, this is painful. Like, not the performances necessarily, but like the audience situation just feels like Oof, why? I it's mean rough, it's, man. You have to wait a little bit because there's like a little bit of a delay. So you have to wait just a little bit for your laughs. But they're still there. I mean, yeah, it's not, not this, I'm not going to pretend it's the same. It's not, but it, it's way better than nothing at all. You know, when you rehearse your sets at home, it kind of feels like that's what a zoom show is like, like where you're rehearsing in the mirror Come or something on. and you're like, where is <laughs> like, it's better than that. It's better than that. All right. Well, I, I have, I've rehearsed a lot of sets to the cat. It is better than, and, and she's, a rough audience, man. She does not give me many laughs. Yeah, I don't give a shit about nothing. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placo. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your 